Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to make a quick video here showing how to set up 3DS emulation on an iPhone because it seems like some people have been struggling with this, so I just wanted to show you how this is done. So I have Folium installed here. We're not going to be using Limon or ME3DS. Uh, this is the most recent build of the 3DS emulator on iPhone. It's also a multi-system emulator. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to the Folium Discord in my uh, in the the description here. You're going to go to releases. You're going to go to the link here. Click this one. And then you'll want to click the open in Safari button. Go ahead and do that. Tap on this one right here. Uh, Folium Citrus IPA. You're going to download that. Now, um, side loading the app is out of the scope of this video. So you're either going to want to use um, side store, which is what I have here, or you can use alt store, or you can use Sinulus, basically anything you use to sideload apps. I'll probably make another video to show how to set up side, side store, but again, it's out of scope of this video. You're going to sideload Folium. When you get in here, there's going to be a little red exclamation mark. Now, what you're going to need to do is obtain the AES.txt keys. Um, they're right here. Um, the AES underscore keys. I can't really link you to those because I because they're I'm pretty sure they're like copyrighted or whatever. Um, really, just Google it. Honestly, you're gonna drop those in the sys data folder that is within your Folium. So here I am on the root of my iPhone. Uh, go to Folium. Go to Citrus. Go to sys data. Drop those keys in there. Again, use Google or uh, preferably dump them from your 3DS console. That would be the most legal way. Um, now, I also can't tell you how to get the ROMs. Um, you're going to have to decrypt them so that they're in the .3DS format. Um, again, the way, the most legal way to do this is just lip, rip them from your console. Um, so you're going to want those decrypted ROMs. Now, something that people kind of mess up on, um, which is not really their fault, but they try to uh, import the games from within the emulator itself. I know that when you do that with Limon, it crashes the app. And I've seen a lot of people complain about that. So what you're going to want to do, just go back to your Citrus folder where your ROMs are. Take your ROMs and just drop them into this folder within the files app. Again, do not do this from the emulator itself because it may or may not crash, okay? And once you've done that, you're good to go. This is really easy to set up. Um, there's no JIT required here. I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I'm gonna get the best uh, performance, but I'll just kind of show you that this does indeed work. No tricks, no nothing. I believe you can also connect a controller to this. Um, this build of Folium is pretty early. There's no real settings uh, menu. You basically just edit a text file. So I'm sure that'll be added later. Again, it's really early on, but you can see this is working great. Um, a lot of 2D indie games, those things are going to work really well with this. Um, you might run into some trouble with 3D games, uh, more demanding games. But yeah, as you can see, we're working great here. So yeah, guys, that is about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. But this really is straightforward. I don't, I don't think anybody will have any problems when they follow this uh, this guide here. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.